So yesterday, something pretty awesome happened. Uh, I hit one of my goals that I didn't think would happen until at the end of the year. And that was to pass 10,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. And it actually happened yesterday. So about five, six months ahead of schedule. And what I want to do is thank you for being a subscriber, a viewer, or engaging with my videos and helping me grow this channel. I want to give back and share with you five secrets to grow a YouTube channel from zero views and zero subscribers if you're thinking of starting one yourself, right? If you have something of value to share or you wanna document your journey and create your own YouTube channel, then I think it's a fantastic time to start and I wanna share with you five secrets that can help you do just that. And these five secrets took me to over 10,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel in a little over six months, okay? And first of all, YouTube I think is a fantastic platform it, you can make one video, it can be viewed for years. It's become a big part of my business and helping me grow my personal brand and my business. So I highly recommend you, if you are even thinking about creating your YouTube channel, uh, just de definitely get started. Now is a better time than ever because there's more people at home, more eyeballs on watching the computer and watching YouTube videos than ever before. Uh, so let's jump into these five secrets. I'm gonna share with you the secret, then I'm gonna show you a live example from my YouTube channel and then you can go and implement and apply it to your YouTube channel as you're starting and growing your own. Uh, so the first secret is to pick a trending or emerging topic or a niche to create your channel around or, or just create, like if you already have a channel, create videos around, okay? So this should be something you know about, you're passionate about, or that you're interested in documenting and learning more about, okay? So if you don't already know, if you already know about something or you're passionate about a certain topic or a certain industry or a certain niche, that, you can start right there. That's the easiest place to start, is something that you're passionate about, you already know about. The other side of the coin is if, you don't, if you're not an expert in anything and you don't need to be to start a channel, you can document your journey. So let's say that you're getting into online business and you wanna create your YouTube channel, you can document your journey of building that online business, let's say from zero to 10K per month. And people love watching other people's journeys, right? They like seeing behind the scenes, they like seeing what's going on, they like watching uh, what's being documented, the steps that go into it. So uh, if you don't already know about something or are passionate about a certain area, you can always start with documenting your journey. And that makes for a great uh, topic or a niche to create your YouTube channel around. Now, the second thing is to sub niche within a niche. So the big three are health, wealth, and relationships. Now for me, my channel is in the wealth big three. You don't wanna just pick wealth as your niche, right? You wanna dive deeper into that, sub niche within a niche. So within wealth, I went into online business, but that's still too big. So I dove a little deeper. In online business, there's online service-based businesses, meaning you're working with clients and within the service-based industry, there is a model called, called drop servicing, right? And I just spotted drop servicing right before it blew up on YouTube. So I started to see this becoming a, like a rising trend uh, or topic or a niche. And it, it started to show up more like in keywords and search results and people were actually looking for it online. So I spotted this back in January. Let me make sure I got the dates right here. So this is my first video, the oldest video on my channel. And you can see here January 16th, and this is about drop servicing, right? This is the highest viewed video on my channel is the first one. So I just caught it as, as it was going up. So if you can find something, a trending or emerging topic to create a video around or to create your channel around, like a series around, that's a great place to start. That's gonna help you grow very quickly, okay? Uh, so that's a key thing right there. If you can, it's not always easy to spot trending or emerging topics, but if you can, that can help you grow very, very fast. So that's secret number one. So secret number two is to use attention grabbing titles and thumbnails, right? Use attention grabbing titles and thumbnails. Now my thumbnails are not fancy at all. I use a tool, a free tool called picknaker.com to do all my thumbnails. And you can see here, it's just a picture of me on the right. There's some text on the left that tells them, grabs their attention and, sh and tells them what the video is about. And in some cases, there's like a stock photo in the back, right? That I just grabbed from YouTube or not from YouTube, on Google as a free image. Uh, so I put it in the back here. I have the text on the left. I have a picture of me on the right. Very simple. It really comes down to the text and grabbing their attention with the text and the title. So let's talk about some proven title frameworks for your videos. First is how to and curiosity based uh, titles for your videos. So you can see here how to there's there's um, curiosity baked into how to titles because people want to know how to do certain things, right? How to get a certain result how to start a drop servicing agency with zero dollars. Uh, let's see, how, how to get SMMA and drop servicing agency clients. 
how to run a sales discovery call. Uh, what else we got here? How to how my drop servicing agency has been affected. How to start an, a profitable online business from scratch. Uh, so lots of how to titles. I like I love how to titles because they do pretty well. The the highest viewed video on my channel is a how to title, and there's that natural curiosity baked in because people want to know how to do stuff, right? They want to see how to do it. Second is drama and controversy and titles like the truth about X, right? The truth about, let me show you from my video, the truth about starting a drop servicing agency, okay? So you can see that even the thumbnail, there's some drama and controversy built in. There's like a, there's like fire going on in the back of me. The truth about drop servicing, not what you think. And people, they'll say all the time, I don't like drama, I don't like controversy, I don't like fights. That's just not true, right? <laughs> As humans, we're attracted to that stuff. We love watching, uh, you know, those, oh, I don't like watching it, but there's my, my girlfriend watches those reality TV shows where they're like stuck on an island or they're like The Bachelor, right? People love those shows. They get super high ratings because there's always drama and controversy in those shows. And the same thing goes with YouTube. If you have, like, I'm not saying to always have those drama titles and, and make your channel all about bad news, but people are attracted to drama and controversy and titles like this, right? The truth about X. Uh, the, this revealed, X revealed, uh, three ways to extend your lifespan by this amount revealed, right? I'm just taking this off the top of my head, but uh, reveal the truth about X, discoveries, right? Those types of titles do well because there is some controversy built in, there's some drama in there, and people like that kind of stuff. They're attracted to it. Hidden, weird, secrets, right? These words, these types of words do very well in titles because again, there's that curiosity factor built in. So where's, uh, you can see here, secret niche sites revealed. Where is best industries revealed? Let me see any other, let me see, secret. Uh, right here, drop servicing, secret weapon to get more customers. Never shared this before. Uh, let's see, hidden, weird. I know I had a few more in here. I don't know why it's not coming up. Uh, but hidden, weird, secrets. People like to see those things because there's that curiosity factor built in, okay? Uh, so outcome driven. So this is pretty much built into all these other things, right? But people want to get some kind of outcome or result when wa watching your videos. So right here, what is the result here? Getting clients fast on LinkedIn. What is the result here? Starting a drop servicing business with zero dollars. What is the result here? Getting free clients with social media. What is the result here? Get clients with this three-step process. So there's re result and outcome built into the titles here, right? Or, or within the text as well. So you wanna do the same thing with some of your titles is to have the outcome or result very clearly stated in your title. What are they gonna get out of watching your video? And also numbered lists, right? So you can see here, I love doing numbered lists, three ways to do X, seven best niches for X, uh, best vertical niches for 2020, five secret places for beginners to find uh, niches, nine industries that are booming right now, seven high income evergreen skills, five free strategies to get clients. I use numbered lists all the time because they're proven they do very well and you can combine them with any of these other frameworks and strategies here, okay? Actually, you can co combine pretty much all of these, okay? So that's number two, use attention grabbing titles and thumbnails for your videos. Number three, secret number three, create content that your fans want. And so many people, they just create, they don't even do any research. They don't look at what their audience is searching for and keywords that their audience is searching for. They just go out and create content that they feel like creating. And if you wanna get views and you wanna grow your channel, you wanna get subscribers, you need to create content that your fans want and are searching for. So what I do is I use a tool called vidIQ and I, and I use it to find hot keywords. So let me go here. I'm not gonna give you a full tutorial. Maybe that'd be a, se a separate video here, but let me just go back to my YouTube channel. Let's just type in email marketing, for example, because make a lot of videos on this. And you can see here on the right-hand side, it has a scoring based off of the, the keyword itself. And then it also gives me different keyword ideas here. So I can see this, that's why I like this tool vidIQ. It saves me a ton of time and it gives me ideas on what to create videos around. So instead of like guessing what to create a video around, I can see all these like high scoring keywords that I can create videos around, an active campaign tutorial, right? I can create an email marketing 101 video. I can create something about autoresponders, right? I can compare certain uh, email service providers like ConvertKit or MailChimp or how to create a lead magnet. 
So these are all video ideas and it's this tool is telling me that there's a ton of search volume for these certain terms and there's a very low competition. So why wouldn't I wanna create a video around something that has low competition and high search volume, right? So I can see here, if something has a high search volume and low competition, that's definitely something I wanna create a video around because those are things that my fans and audience are searching for, okay? So another thing is as you start to grow your audience, you can even poll and survey them and ask them what they would wanna see, what type of content topics do they wanna see a YouTube video around, right? And I do that in my Facebook group, I do that on my email list. I ask them what they wanna see and sometimes I'll create videos around that if there's search volume on YouTube. Now, if you have a hot video, very important, Make more that are similar, okay? Don't be afraid of making more videos of the same topic. So uh, there's, there's video, I have a, like three or four videos on getting clients using social media. It's pretty much all the same thing, but they always get a ton of views because people just can't get enough of that topic. So if you have a hot video, create more videos just like that. So I created my first video around drop servicing. Like if I go back to my channel here, and it took off, there's 54,000 views on it now. I created, let me go back to my channel, let's see. Drop servicing, and I, I, I saw that it started taking off. So I started creating a ton of drop servicing videos, right? I created a lot more, one right here. I created a bunch of them on, on picking niches and fit, figuring out which ones to go into, right? And how to get clients. So once you see a video take off, uh, don't think that you can't make another video similar to that, right? Make more and more videos off of the one that's taking off. It really only takes one video to blow up your channel, right? So this one video alone, this 54,000 viewed video is responsible for a good portion of these subscribers here, right? It really only takes one video to blow up your channel. So if you have one that takes off, that's starting to get a lot of views, build upon, the, build upon that momentum and create more videos just like that. So that's secret number three. Secret number four, have a consistent schedule, and most importantly, stick to it, okay, stick to it. So, so many people, they'll say, I'm gonna create 10 videos a week. They do it for like two weeks and then they don't create a video for like two years, right? Uh, see, what you wanna do is create a schedule. It doesn't need to be every day, right? Mine is, I post a video on Tuesday and a live stream on Thursday, and I've been doing that for you know six months. So you can see here, I have a video every Tuesday and Thursday for the past six months and I haven't stopped doing. I'm very consistent with my schedule. Uh, so I recommend a minimum of once per week, ideally two if you're just getting started and you wanna get some traction. And what I do is I have a dedicated filming day for my YouTube videos. So every Friday, I film and schedule my videos. And I post them on, I post my video on Tuesday and I do a live stream on Thursday. So that is my schedule. You don't have to copy that. Just create your own schedule and be consistent, stick with the schedule and pick a date to actually film your videos and schedule your videos on that day so you don't have to be like scrambling on the day of filming the video, editing and, and uploading it and, and putting it live, okay? So really important here, have a consistent schedule and stick to it. Number five, this is something that not many people talk about, is to create a content repurposing system, okay? What do I mean by this? Well, I take one piece of content and I turn it into four to seven pieces of content. What do I mean by that? Well, I'll create one YouTube video and I can turn that into one to three different emails to my list, to my email list. I can do one post on my YouTube community tab and then one post in my Facebook group and then also on LinkedIn. So that one video that I created turns into four to seven pieces of content across all these different channels. And what's really happening is I'm repurposing one piece of content to grow my audience on four different platforms. Right, so here's an example. Uh, today, I sent out this email. So this is about Silvio. This is one of my students here in my accelerator program. And I took this exact email, okay? I, I wrote up this email, and I didn't create a video around this, but you wanna do this with your videos. I took that one email, I posted it on my YouTube community tab here. So you can see here, right? And I, nine people like this video. I also took this exact same post and I posted it in my Facebook group. So if I go down here and I go to my Facebook group, you can see the exact same post is in my Facebook group. Uh, so this one only has, you know, I, I repurposed it three times here, a, a YouTube community tab, email list, and my Facebook group. I might post it on LinkedIn. I might turn it into a video, but you can see there just taking one piece of content and using it to grow all these different platforms all at once, okay? 
And this is huge. This is a big part of why I've been able to, to grow my email list. I, I believe there's 3,000 or so, 3,291 contacts since February. I was able to grow this Facebook group to almost 3,000 members and my YouTube channel all, all at the same time, right? 10,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. So this one's really important. I don't see too many people talking about this. This is especially powerful. If you already have an audience, you can use this to really start growing all your different platforms all at once and start making more money in your business. Uh, so let's go through these five secrets one more time. Uh, five secrets to grow your YouTube channel. You're starting from zero views, zero subscribers, and these are five secrets that took me to over 10,000 subscribers in six months. Number one, pick a trending or emerging topic or niche to base your channel around or to create your videos around. Number two is to use attention grabbing titles and thumbnails and you can rewatch this video so that you know these different proven frameworks and then look at the titles on my channel as well. And number three is to create content that your fans want. And a, a good tool to do this is vidIQ. I'll link to it down in the description. You can find hot keywords based on your topic or your niche and start creating videos around those hot keywords. And then once you have a hot video, make more that are similar to that. It really only takes one video to blow up your channel. Number four, secret number four is to have a consistent schedule and stick to it. So mine is every Tuesday and Thursday and I film every Friday. And lastly, create a content repurposing system. So if you have a Facebook group or, group or Instagram or LinkedIn or your YouTube community tab, you can grow all of those at once in your email list at the same time by taking one piece of content and repurposing it for all of those different platforms. Okay, so those are five secrets to help you grow your channel. Uh, if you are implementing these already or if you have a secret that I missed here, I'd love to hear about it below in the comments. Uh, but I hope this was helpful for you and I hope you go and start growing your channel because I think it's a great place to, to start your personal brand and your business. And especially right now, people are watching videos more than ever before. And I think it's a great time to start your YouTube channel and use that to grow your business and your income. So uh, if you have any comments or questions, go below and let me know. And if not, I'll see you in the next video.